Hey guys, Jeremy here. Sorry for a little bit of a delay here. I've been really busy. I actually got to do some wedding videos and whatnot, and so just some work. I've been really enjoying getting to work the last uh, few days. So this video, as you can see from the title, is about Loot Crate. I have only one experience with Loot Crate, and I literally just bought the one Mass Effect Loot Crate that came out, good God, like three, four years ago. And I actually really enjoyed it. I used a lot of those things to their full extent. I got the socks, I wore the socks until they had massive holes in them. I still use the backpack from time to time. Obviously I got a new sweater from it. I almost used everything of that. I think it came with one little plushy thing of a, of a Volus, which I just have in the entertainment area. But otherwise, everything that came with that crate was great. I've never been inclined to do one since. Uh, as most people know me, I'm very stingy with my money, even more so now with the whole recovery thing. I am very, very particular with what I spend my money on. And the idea of spending money on something that I don't 100% know, I'm very, very against. I was really against buying the Mass Effect one when I started to think about it, but I'm just such a huge fan of it. And when I realized that it's literally just pieces and whatnot from different distributors, and considering now that there isn't really a Mass Effect store anymore, it's literally that different distributors selling different things now. It was pretty cool at the time. So when the Lords of the Rings one came out, I was like, all right, they can't fuck this up. <laughs> There was an option between buying one crate or buying three, and three being the three movies. So I decided to do that. Me and my roommate both have done that. We put our orders in in March. Mine specifically March 13th. What has transpired since then is probably one of the worst displays of a company taking my $230 and saying absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. The only way that I know what's going on is because we've sent them multiple emails and on top of that, we have also been looking at the Reddit chat stuff. The whole thing just seems to be an absolute chaotic mess right now and Loot Crate is doing nothing about anything. No! Ah! What was it? And also it doesn't help that you read articles saying that they just laid off 150 employees or the fact that other people are getting the same issue with their monthly subscription. There's one video I watched where a guy received his April one in June and it, the first thing he pulled out was a Red Bull can. It looks like Loot Crate is going to be another one of those companies that joins the pile of dead crate subscription thing. In fact, Mark, who's been here for the Nightmare on Elm Street and the Friday the 13th reviews, had a lot of subscriptions to a bunch of different horror crate uh, business companies who have all gone out of business. I think he's I think he's gone through four of them. So to see Loot Crate going down the same path isn't really a surprise to me, considering what this company has been doing for this, as long as they have. This was a idea that was only going to last so long. And for how much they supposedly charge, it just didn't make any sense to me. Ergo, why I only ever did a once in a lifetime thing, which was the Mass Effect one. And then I decided to do it again with the Lord of the Rings one. So to give you an example of what's been going on, I'm going to give you some screenshots of the conversations that we've had. My roommate is the one who's been emailing for the both of us because obviously I, with my own personal issues, I just didn't want to put an effort into that because I, I didn't care about that at the time. So she's the one who's been corresponding with us. So the first email here is when we were inquiring about how much longer the deadline was for the supposed deadline of the loot crates, which was originally in March. Said, hi, I was wondering how much longer all three loot crates would be available to pre-order. And we got a message here from Errol. Thank you for contacting us. Sorry for the inconvenience, which I don't really understand. You know, you should probably publicly post that, but as you'll see, you, you'll understand why they didn't. The deadline for the first Lords of the Rings loot crate will be March 15th. We apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused. Let me know if you have any further questions. Thanks. So that's not too bad. A little odd that they apologize twice, because um, maybe this guy knows what's happening. So a little while later, obviously my whole cancer business kind of put a lot of damper on everything. It was about a week before June, we were kind of wondering, hey, where are our crates? Sneaky little witches. Because originally, from what we had seen, from what they had told us, like not in emails, but on the official orders, is that the first one would be coming in April. And then they pushed it to May. So that's why we started at emailing them about it. And that's also when I started looking up stuff on Reddit about other people having issues. So my roommate wrote on June 2nd, Hello, just wondering what is going on with the Lords of the Rings crates. It's understandable if they have to be postponed, but the lack of updates and communication has been extremely disappointing. We were told they had been pushed back until May. 
when we received no news, we had to look on Reddit to find out that they were being pushed back again. Are these orders going to be fulfilled? Thank you. Not listening. Not listening. So this one's from Urson. This response was two days later. Thanks for writing to us. Unfortunately, there was a shipping delay with the Lords of the Rings a limited edition, The Journey Begins. Which now makes me think this is going to be about the goddamn Hobbit. With the latest update, we were advised that all crates should be shipped out by June 10th to 15th. We understand this is a long time to wait on top of how long you've already waited and this is a great inconvenience. I thank you for your patience and understanding. You should receive a tracking email as soon as the order has been shipped, so keep an eye out for that notification. You're a liar and a thief. No. Least to say, we haven't heard shit. So finally, we sent another email about a few days ago saying, so June 10th to 15th has come and gone. We still have not heard anything from you guys. It's not the delay that is frustrating. It's the lack of communication. And it's true. The fact that we haven't heard absolutely anything. We have had to go out of our way to figure out what's going on. I've had to read Reddit posts about what the fuck is going on. So the fact that Loot Crate is showing financial difficulties just with their employees as well as the monthly subscription people and then this issue going on right now it doesn't exactly bode well for the money I spent on this. I'm honestly really considering asking for a refund because we both got three. Like we both got the, the three for ourselves. But I noticed something when I checked my phone. So when I was looking on my Loot Crate account on my phone, I noticed this little bullshit up in the top. The auto renewal date of October 15th, 2019. I never signed up for a subscription. Wicked, crazy, false. And I already paid in full for this thing. So if they're gonna try and fucking charge me again, I'm gonna have some words with them. You don't fuck with my money. <laughs> so I'm really hoping the Loot Crate has a response for this because I'm gonna send them an email today saying, hey, where the hell are the crates and what the hell is this auto renewal crap? I've paid in full. My invoice even says so. Give me an answer about what the fuck is going on or I want a refund right now. But and then I'm even worried about asking for a refund. I have a feeling that they're gonna ball and chain me for months and months until I get that money back. So I'm kind of caught between a rock and a hard place right now. So this is mainly just a big shout out for anyone else who has ordered this loot crate. Please let me know what you guys are going through. Let me know if you've had any answers or whatnot or what the hell is going on to this thing. Because this is some straight A bullshit. The fact that this is so poorly communicated, so poorly advertised. You can even buy the thing still. You can fucking buy it still. This is three months after the fact that it supposedly wasn't be going to be able to be pre-ordered anymore. So what the fuck is actually going on? Sorry for the rant, but I'm honestly really, really upset with this because I put money into this before I went in for surgery and right now, I'm being very, very careful with my money right now. So the fact that something I ordered that was quite expensive months ago was supposed to arrive months ago has not even said anything about it. I'm understandably upset. So let me know what you guys think about this issue. Please let me know if you guys are having any issues with this as well. And God forbid, if any of you have any answers to this, I would very much appreciate them. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. And let's hope that Loot Crate gets their shit together because I'm never buying from them again after this. Thanks for watching the video. You're probably wondering who I am. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. <sighs> By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural. Or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. <sighs> hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> <sighs> to see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.